Cheers. <sighs> Coffee. Okay. Let's get started. Hello, friends. This is Oswaldo from Rock Entry. Today, we're going to talk about five ways to master your technique. Because obviously, we all want to master our technique. We want to be really good at our technique because now we know that strength can only take you so far. Now, note, it doesn't necessarily mean that you don't need strength in order to uh, improve your technique because you do. You obviously do. If you don't have a certain amount of strength, you're not going to be able to do some technical moves. So just note that you do need both. Now, let's get started. Five ways to master your technique. Number one, taking it one technique at a time. And let me explain why, okay? So typically what we do, what I've done, <laughs> is go to the gym and try to do multiple climbs, try to figure things out multiple ways, try to figure out different cruxes, how to dyno, how to do a side dyno, how to do a heel hook, how to do a flag, how to do this, how to do that. Trying to figure out multiple things in the same day, you know? It gets overwhelming and the thing is, you don't give your body enough time to understand what's going on if you're going back and forth, right? So this is why it's very important to take it one technique at a time. So if it is heel hook, you know, be patient, focus on the project, learn the heel hook, learn why doesn't it work, how it works, and why does it work. It helps, you know, it keeps you focused on learning and give your body enough time to understand what exactly are you doing. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't be climbing multiple climbs. What I'm saying is, if you're trying to learn something, learn it, you know, give, give it time. Don't just give up on a certain thing and then move on to the next because it's going to take you longer. Okay, number two, it goes back to back with what we just talked about, which is progression. So what I mean by progression on learning a technique is if something is too difficult to do, you should be doing a progression of, of it. So what I mean is this, it's for example, this climb here. I know it's outdoors, but trust me, it'll make sense. This move here was extremely difficult for me at first in this, in this climb. And the thing is, I want to get familiar of how does it feel to, you know, be able to hit a crimp with, you know, such a power move and stick it, right? So what I do is I do a progression of it. I take this method, this, you know, similar movement over to my gym. So in this case, I'm working on this green problem and I know it's not a perfect example of it, but it's similar enough that it does help me. So notice that I'm doing this power throw to a crimp and then I have to pull in. Same thing with the outdoors. So I'm kind of mimicking it. And what happens is I'm building up this muscle memory and it helps me build confidence and it helps me build the contact strength that it's needed for this climb. And when I'm back on that rock, I'm able to achieve this move. Clean dude, come on. Work on a project figure out how can you work your way up to that point. So, perfect example. Number three, when you're learning, you're gonna fail a lot. <laughs> you know, you're gonna fail a lot. You're gonna fall a lot. Cause the thing is this, you gotta give yourself time to figure things out. If you fail a lot and you don't like it and you move on to the next project, you're not gonna give yourself time, as I mentioned, to learn. So you have to be okay with failing a lot. It's part of the process, period. You can't go without failing a lot. That's how you learn. You have to try multiple ways to understand what works. Same thing with flagging. You're not gonna get it right the first time. You gotta get familiar with it. You gotta practice on the wall. So be okay with failure. It's part of the process and move on from it. Number four, number four is very, very important. This one, if you do this right now, this is why you're progressing a lot. And it's watch and learn. If you're at a climb and you're trying to work something and it's not working out for you, watch another climber 
do the same climb and see what they're doing right or even wrong. So you're learning as you're watching. When you're, when you're resting, as you're resting, learn from other climbers. It really, really helps. Same thing when you're watching videos, when you're watching my videos, you learn a lot. So watch and learn, you know, and it really does help because when you visually see something work, you tend to try to replicate it, right? Because if you can't see it visually and you're trying to get on the wall and trying to figure things out, it's harder. So watch and learn. All right, number five. This will help you out a lot as well. All, all of this is gonna help you out a lot. Ask for help, you know. If you seriously can't figure something out and you see somebody else do it and they, you, you notice that they feel pretty comfortable up there, you know, ask for help. Some people are willing to help out. Obviously, don't, don't you know, go around bugging people, but if you're working on a problem and with somebody else, you know, asking for help really goes a long way. I think this has helped me a lot, to be honest. I'm those kind of people that I like to help and I like to ask for help as well. This, you know, as I'm helping somebody, I'm getting help from somebody else and that's that's what creates that's actually I think that's why I love the sport because <laughs> it's 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 awesome to be able to help somebody and be helped by somebody as well now, I have a bonus for you guys and it goes back to everything I just mentioned all five and it is patience you know it takes a lot of patience to learn a technique and another thing is you gotta be patient with yourself as well. If you start noticing that, you know, another climber is learning a certain move quicker than you, faster than you, and you start getting impatient, trying to rush, you know, of getting it right, it's gonna take you longer, you know? Uh, don't focus so much on, on that. Just be patient with yourself. That's something that I had to learn the hard way because I used to rush it. I used to be like, you know, I gotta get this faster, you know, my friend already got it, and, and how come I can't get it? And then you just force it and you're rushing it. I'll just watch you climb. So it takes longer. So what you have to do is just give yourself time, whatever time it takes. If it takes you longer than a week, oh well, it takes you longer than a week. Be okay with that. As always, I'm very thankful for my Patreons. If you guys would like to support my work, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can become one of my Patreons and receive exclusive content. Love you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.